Oklahoma's recommended visitation schedule for children age three to five. I'm Tulsa Attorney James Worth. We're doing a series of videos related to the uh, advisory guidelines for um, in visitation schedules in the state of Oklahoma. This goes back to 2004, where the legislature passed a law requiring that the administrative director of courts come up with advisory guidelines for visitation. Um, Two, two reasons for that. One, want to determine what is typically in the best interest of the child relating to visitation and contact with parents based on current science, and also to try to have some uniformity from judge, between judge and judge and county and county. Um, it accomplished the first a little bit, not so much on the second. There's still not a uni lot of uniformity um, from county to county. Different judges like different schedules. Um, more different uh, counties handle it differently. Um, so that uniformity hasn't changed a lot, uh, but these do provide some uh, recommendations and is a good starting point if you are advocating for a particular position in the court, then you're going to review this and potentially use it as persuasive authority. But it is not authoritative. It is a guideline. Ultimately, the judge has wide discretion in determining what's in the best interest of your children. But you're probably going to want to know what's in here, particularly for this video, if your kids are age three to five years of age. So it notes a couple things up front. One, nightmares become common at this stage. Um, Children are uh, impulsive at this age and uh, have very concrete thinking. Um, sometimes it notes they may say and they believe what the parent wants to hear. It's important to remember that this not, does not necessarily reflect the child's real experience. If the child reports parental behavior that causes concern, discuss the matter with the other parent to resolve the misunderstanding. So it notes that it is common for children to perhaps talk about things that cause concern that may not be real things at this stage. So, in, if there are issues that are brought up, obviously you want to investigate that, but don't make a presumption. Don't presume that the other parent is doing something wrong just because of what the child said at this age, noting these things. You got to deal with that in a, a very um, careful way, which it notes here the first thing would be to, to address it with the other parent, see what responses you get, and then go from there regarding what your concerns are. But that's what they've got in the guidelines there. Talking more about the schedule, it notes that if one parent was minimally, minimally involved in the child's daily routine, a few days each week, including a full week in day, will allow the relationship and caregiving skills to develop. So if there hasn't been a, a big relationship prior, that's kind of where you start based on these recommendations. As the child becomes more comfortable moving between two homes, additional time and one or two overnights may be added. If both parents are working outside of the home and the time separation um, at the time uh, at the time of separation and the child is in daycare, parents might consider splitting each weekend so that the child has one full stay at home day and overnight with each parent each weekend as well as some week day contact. While this may not be the best situation for the parents, it notes that it is helpful to many young children in the early stages of, separate, of the separation. If one parent is primarily at home with the child, the visitation schedule may offer the other parent more weekend time in addition to some weekday contact. Some parents may find that every other weekend schedule with midweek contact works well. So previous to this, when children are younger than three, um, every other weekend doesn't allow enough contact, enough frequency in contact uh, for the child. Um, at those ages, you can't have either parent um, that is going to be involved in the child's life away from the parent for too long. This is kind of the beginning of where you can start doing um, every other weekend, preferably at this age, if you've got some contact midweek. Uh, so that's the recommendation in the guidelines for age three to five. If you're dealing with this circumstance, though, you're not just going to want to talk to information from a video. You want to review these guidelines yourself, but even that's not enough. You're going to talk to an attorney privately, confidentially about your specific circumstances in order to receive legal advice. To get that scheduled with an attorney at my office, you can go online to makelaweasy.com.